to Healthy Recipes with Gina. I'm pretty excited today. Today I'm going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious tuna steak. This tuna steak right here, so easy to make. And if you make it Gina style, your taste buds are going to love you for this recipe. Here's what you will need. I have some yellow fin tuna. Okay, these are considered tuna steaks. We have some nice beautiful spices. Sea salt is optional. You don't have to use sea salt if you cannot use it. We have salt free uh, everything bagel seasoning. And this has absolutely no salt in it. We have paprika, parsley flakes, we have vegan butter, and we also have some lemon. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. I'm gonna show you how it's done. I'm excited for this recipe, and you should be too. So we went live on this channel yesterday, and there was a whole lot of people throwing out great ideas of what we could make on this channel, and this, this was one of the recipes. So here we are in the flesh, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious tuna steak, but before we get started, I need to talk about something. Typically, when you're making a tuna steak like such, they serve it medium rare. They do, they do, they do, I hate to say it, they serve it where there's still some pink going through. You know, just like a real quick fry, and the inside is medium rare. So what I'll do for the people that would prefer to have theirs that way, I'm gonna show you how to cook it that way. But for everybody that was in the chat last night, we had a good time. Uh, they said that they wanted theirs well done. So two of them, I will make them well done, but we have to talk. So now, for the one that's gonna be served medium rare in the inside that most people like, uh, we will be seasoning it with this beautiful, everything but the salt bagel seasoning, okay? And so let's go ahead and season them all. Now the ones that's gonna be cooked fully, we're not gonna use that bagel seasoning because for the time that's gonna take to fully cook these tuna steaks, that bagel seasoning will burn. So we'll put the bagel seasoning on the one that's gonna be cooked medium. Let's go ahead and season paprika on all of them my goodness i hope y'all are having a great day this was such a great idea to make today all right so this one here is going to be the one that we're going to go let's see i'm going to move it away we want to go in and put that beautiful bagel seasoning on and don't shy away from the seasoning like get it on there and really pack it in we will be putting parsley flakes because we know parsley flakes makes everything nice and pretty, right? Okay, a little tiny bit of salt. Okay, let's turn the other side over and we're gonna do the same thing in this manner. Remember, this is gonna be the only one that has the bagel seasoning because we're gonna cook this for a short amount of time and the short amount of time won't allow it to burn. But since we're making those ones fully cooked, don't use it. All right, so let's get our seasoning. A little bit of parsley flakes, there we go. And for these, we're just gonna do paprika, salt, parsley flakes. And I feel like for this, we'll also do a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder is gonna really bring this to life. Just like so. So now we will be cooking this fish in a healthy avocado oil is what we're gonna to use today. It's gonna to give great flavor and it's gonna to help to cook up your fish the way we want it to cook. Okay, so now let's go ahead. We're gonna drag it through that bagel seasoning and then just put it in here, just like so. I don't know if you all can hear that sizzle, but it's a sizzle that you must have. You must see and hear that sizzle, and if your pan's not hot enough, don't put another one in until it's nice and hot. So I'm hearing and seeing that sizzle, and now these are the ones that we're going to cook full, okay? We're going to cook them fully until they're well done. This one will be medium, because otherwise, I can't stress it enough, those spices will burn. All right, and then I'm going to show you how to make this really quick and simple, yet so delicious. It's like a lemon butter sauce. We're going to pour it all over our tuna steaks. I tell you what, it smells so good in here. It should never taste 
or smell fishy. It doesn't have a real fishy smell. Okay, it smells so beautiful. Let's go ahead and flip this one and be gentle with it. You don't want to take off all of that beautiful breading that we put on. Look how gorgeous. Uh-huh, and you can see where it's beginning to cook that light part. We want that light part to come halfway through the middle. If it goes all the way through that light part, then you're gonna fully cook it. And that's not what we're gonna do with this one. Continue to cook it, and when I come back, we'll flip the other ones over, just like so. All right, take a look in the pan, and I'd like to show you what this looks like. So, if you take a look, we got just a little thin strip of the pink. And then we have the cooked part, and you can see how much it is on the top, how much it is on the bottom. Take it out. <laughs> yep, take it out, take it out. And we're going to let it set for five minutes. After we let it set, I'm going to slice it in such a manner, pan it out, and show you just how gorgeous it is. How simple was this? Let's slice it. <laughs> nah, you'll see. You're gonna see. Oh, Gina, like that. Yes. This is how a tuna steak like this should be served. Like I said, most people enjoy eating it this way, but since you all ask for well done, that's what the other ones in the pan. We're gonna cook them well done and I'll show you. So this is how you would present this. <laughs> Woo, fan it out. A little bit of parsley flakes. Make it nice and gorgeous. Look at that. Make it so. Now let's make our way over to the pan. I'm going to flip these over because we're cooking these well done. All right. Yes, look how gorgeous. Even though we didn't put the bagel seasoning on, they sure have a beautiful color. And when they are 90% cooked, I'm then gonna go in and show you how to make the lemon butter sauce that you're gonna drizzle over there. Our tuna steaks are 90% cooked. Take a look in the pan, take a look, take a look, take a look. Oh, it smells so good. Let's get us some butter and some lemon into our pan. I'm gonna use about a half a stick of butter, okay? If you want to use less, you can. This is a vegan butter that I'm using. Gorgeous, let's get it nice and melty. And then I want to squeeze the juice from half of a lemon into our pan. It's going to bring a great, bright flavor to the tuna. All right, just like so. And you can look at the sides and you can see where the pink is diminishing, right? Much different from the first one that we made. With the first one that we made, we want that pink really visible. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze this lemon, this half a lemon, in with our butter. And once everything gets nice and melty, we're gonna spoon that over top of the tuna. Easy and simple. Spoon the lemon sauce. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, somebody's all excited. I don't blame you, you should be. Lemon sauce, beautiful. And this is done. We're gonna plate it up right alongside of this one here. When I come back, and no worries, because you're going to get to taste them. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell them what Gina's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again to our beautiful prayer. Come on in. Which one you want? Eeny, miny, mo. <laughs> or Miss Fancy Pants over here. What, which kind of person are you? I'd love to know in the comment section. Enjoy the recipe. Make you so. God bless. Good night.